Hello! Welcome to Example 9 of the Sidekick Basic Kit for TI Launchpad. You can find the examples and documentation at energia.nu slash sidekick. In Example 9, we are going to measure temperature using a thermistor and an analog temperature sensor so we can do a comparison. Monitoring the temperature of a room or object is important in many projects. For this circuit, we will need a thermistor, the LM19 temperature sensor, 10K ohm resistor, 9 jumper wires, the breadboard booster pack, and a TI launch pad. Place your launch pad on the top or bottom of the breadboard booster pack. Now insert your breadboard booster pack into the breadboard along the middle spine. You can use either the 20 pin or 40 pin headers. All the example circuits utilize the first 20 pins, which gives us more space to work with on the breadboard. If you need additional inputs and outputs from the launch pad, you can use the 40 pins. If you need to remove the booster pack from the breadboard, Use a rocking motion to easily free it. Do not pull directly on the booster pack or you may damage it. Orient the LM19 so that you are looking at the flat side with the part number. Connect pin 6 of the launch pad to the middle leg of the LM19. Connect ground to the right leg and VCC to the left leg of the LM19. For the thermistor, connect VCC to one leg and connect pin 2 of the launch pad to the other leg. Then use a pull down resistor to ground as shown. Use the included jumper wires to make the connections. Now let's get started with the software. First, plug your launch pad to your computer over USB. Now open up example 9 from the Sidekick code examples. This code reads the value of the thermistor and the analog temperature sensor, performs some math operations to convert the values to temperature, and then prints that out to the Energia serial monitor. So far we have been using LEDs and buzzers to tell us what's happening in the circuit, but this time we will print the data to the computer which can give us much more information. You can learn more about the concepts in this circuit online under the example page. And that's it. Now you can flash your launch pad with the upload button. Open up the serial monitor and you should see the values displayed. Notice that we should be getting slightly more accurate measurements from the purpose-built temperature sensor than the general purpose thermistor. If there are no values displaying, try hitting the reset button, make sure the baud rate and the COM port are correctly set in Energia, and go through the troubleshooting tips online under the example page. There are many more example circuits available with the Sidekick. Check out the Energia tutorials and refer to the Energia website for documentation and project ideas. Good luck!